I've been getting more comfortable, comfortable getting in my comfort, uh, comfort zone right now. So like, Gerard, I'm just trying to be the best I can be for my team so we can win the championship. What did you see from the guys so far during the chase? Oh, we've been coming together as a team. And like last year, we were really like working out there and it's, it's coming together. When you say coming together, just, you know, what's the message been like from the coaches and just, you know, kind of turning the page and, uh, you know, obviously putting last year in the past? Oh, we've been focused on championships. I don't think we was focused on that last year. We just work, focused on winning. We got to win championships. You were thrown into the fire pretty early in your freshman oh, season. Yeah. Just, um, did you feel you were ready for that moment? Uh, yes, because I prepare for every moment that I get on the field. Just, how, how do you go about doing that? How do you go about preparing yourself for playing college football for you know, the first time? Um, watching a lot of film, extra work, extra work, basically. Just got to put in the work. Having, having your name, has that been a, a blessing or, or sometimes it's a hard thing to, with what all your dad did? Uh, I mean, I don't really look at it like that. I just try to go and accomplish my own goals and set my own stones. And then the secondary as a group, you guys had some really great moments and then some tough moments. How much did you grow as a player last season? Um, as a secondary, we grew a lot. We came and we, it's a lot of mistakes we made, but it was, we, we, we corrected them. It seems like, you know, you go out and you play with an intensity and an attitude that you know, a lot of other players don't have. Just where did that come from? Uh, I would say because I just want to dominate every play. And I guess down south football is different because it's like I want to prove a point every single play and make them feel me. Coach um, Barnett, last year, a couple times when, when big receivers went at you, he said he always had so much confidence in you because you're a dog. What's Does he impart that confidence? In, and can you tell he has that confidence in you? Uh, yes. In, in practice, I try to compete with every – Every receiver, the big receivers, small receivers, and I compete. So he's seen it on a daily basis. So I want, I want him to have confidence. In What's the difference looking back at some of those plays? You guys, you made, you personally made a lot of big plays, but you also gave up a couple touchdowns. What, what are things you, you've had to, to work on, or do you have to work on? Um, it's a lot of things, a lot of little things, basically. And you got to correct the little things, and it's going to be more big plays. Obviously. You could have gone to a lot of different places. What attracted you here? Made you want to come here? Uh, I would say Florida State is. Is Florida State is? It speaks for itself. It's a lot of um, prime time players came out of here. Prime time, uh, <laughs> Jalen Ramsey, Derwin James, a lot of DBs. So I want to keep it going. Obviously, last year not you know obviously ideal. But what are the takeaways that you guys were able to take from last season and kind of pull them over into this year? Um. Like I said earlier, like paying attention to the details, the little things, that's where everything like kind of fall apart for us. We, we didn't pay attention to the details. You're a smaller guy. When you're going up against a bigger wide receiver, mm -hmm. just what's the mentality like and how do you go about you know, stopping them? Uh, I have the same mindset every, every time I line against somebody. I mean, it doesn't change for the person. It's just I got to do my technique and do what I got to do. And I feel like I'm going to dominate every play. You guys have a lot of guys coming back who play a lot at corner. What do you, what do you, are you looking forward to the competition this spring? Uh, yeah, I always love competition because competition brings the best out of everybody, so that'll be good for us. Is that one thing about this program that you know, there's so much competition that you, know, you guys are able to build on in practice? Yeah. And just... yeah, you really can't like chill or get complacent because if you get complacent, yeah, it's about to get took and it's hard to get back. With the way last year went, are you guys taking it personally? Yes. Every day we think about what happened, but we don't try to dwell on it. We just try to get it motivated, get motivated from it. Coach Sager said that the guys came into you know 2019 with a different mentality when they came back. That you know there was a different, I guess, resurgence. Have you seen that? Yeah, it has been a different mentality because I mean, sad to say, we did mess up the road street, so we're gonna get it back. What's the relationship or camaraderie like between uh, everybody in your signing class, the rising sophomores? Uh, I feel like everybody's kind of pretty much close. Like, everybody's pretty much close. Like, I can go in any any of my teammates' room and just sit there and chill for the whole night. It's like a more of a family now. Is it special for you guys to be, you know, you'll always be Coach Taggart's first signing class here, and do you guys feel like you have an opportunity to sort of be the ones to 
lay the foundation for him here? Yeah, of course. And he always used to say that last year. And we got to make it come to fruition this year. Did you, being from South Florida and losing Miami, and did you hear much from friends and things like that during the offseason or after that game? And, and how does that motivate you? From the Miami game? Yeah. I mean, yeah, but I don't really listen to it. It is what it is. People are going to talk regardless if you're doing good or bad. Have you ever been on a team with this many West Coast guys, California guys, Trey Sean? Mm -hmm. I played on seven on seven teams, but not like an actual team. I played against a Cali team before, though. Do you feel like players from the West Coast are similar to players from Florida or the East Coast, or is it just a different, different kind of kind of way? I mean, South Florida always got an edge on everybody in the country. No disrespect, but that's what it is. What do you like about Jaden as a teammate, as a player on the defense? Uh, he's he he pays attention to a lot of details. He's a very hardworking guy, and I'm glad he's on our team. You know, you, you, know, you AJ, Jaden, you guys played a lot as freshmen. Just how do you think that's going to you know, impact you going into the second season? I think it's going to benefit us a lot on the experience side because we didn't have no experience last year, and it's just like we we just learning new things, making new mistakes. So now we're going to correct those mistakes and try to capitalize on everything. Uh, offensively, you know, new quarterback, new uh, offensive coordinator. Defensively, do you guys kind of feel the pressure to be like that consistency on the team? I mean, every year we have the same mindset. Let's dominate every play, every drive, every every time we step on the field. So it shouldn't change just because of quarterback. You talked about making mistakes last year. What's maybe one of the biggest things you learned from that first season? Um, the biggest things is. If I give up a play, I, I have to just keep going because I'll get so hard on myself. But, I mean, I, it just comes with it. A lot of people are wondering about Nolan as a quarterback. Uh, as somebody who has seen him in practice, what do you think he brings to the table? Nolan, Nolan is a, he's a scholarship type of guy. But, I mean, some things happen. And, like, some people don't get the same chance. But he could easily start at another Div Division One college. What do you think he does well? Um. I mean, he runs the ball well, he throws it well. He's just like an athlete, like a natural born athlete, so it just comes easy to him. What did you see from James last year? I was, I'm sure it was tougher than not starting after starting the year before, uh, James Blackman, and, mm -hmm. and the way he handled all that, and what kind of a leader is he? Uh, James is a tremendous leader. He's, he's always cheering on the teammates, no matter if he's playing or not. It's just, he's a, he's a James Winston type of guy. Like, just. Everybody loves him. Everybody knows he's going to work hard, come out and play, energy. It's just, I'm glad to have him. Has, now that he's kind of the guy, has that changed him at all, or is he the same guy he was? No, I or? think it actually made him work a little bit harder because he knows he, um, a lot of people are depending on him, and he wants to prove a lot of people wrong that doubted him. Did you know him at all before you got here? Um, we knew. We had a mutual friend, like, and he's from down south, so I knew him a little bit. What's it like competing against him in practice? Uh, it's kind of good because I know playing against James, I'm gonna get all the work in practice. So like, whatever happens in the game, I've been seeing it. Right, so it's just a blessing to play against him. He likes to compete, right? Yeah, he's a work hard guy. Uh, defensively, as a unit, what do you feel like y'all need? Uh, y'all's biggest improvement needed to be coming into this season? Um. Like I said, paying attention to details. Every little big play that happened last year, it was because one little small thing, and it messed up everything. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.